short, so it's all good. They're, they're both on the, <laughs> on the uh, stage. What do we need? <laughs> We've got folks on Zoom too. What's the question in the back, we have, sir? We have some Zoom people as well. After oh, the, okay. Yeah. Uh, can you just start by uh, the first round pick? A bit of a gamble, or what did you see in him, and uh, why make that selection? Yeah, no. So, listen, he's an extremely talented player. Um, great size, great ball skills, uh, rebounds, defends. Um, you know, obviously, the had some issues at Duke, um, you know, some stuff in high school as well. But, you know, where you, when you're picking a 20 and then that sort of talent, um, certainly feel feel good about it. You know, the group had a chance to interview him in Chicago and felt good with everything. So, you know, we're excited to add a player of his talent level to the roster. Jalen said that he didn't work out for you guys during the, the process. So how did you decide that he was the right fit for you guys? Uh, well, as I just mentioned, you know, we, we met with him in Chicago and obviously, you know, we've seen him play through all the high school events coming up. And obviously I won the, the game, 13 games he played at Duke. Um, you know, listen, you know, John Collins didn't come and work out for us in the draft process either. So it's not the first time that we've drafted somebody that didn't come in and work out for us. Um, do you see him as being a, a swing guy who can play more than one spot for you, or do you, do you see him as primarily a three? Or? No, I see him as a combo forward. You know, he, he's got the defensive versatility to, to play a lot of different positions, you know, as you saw this year at Duke. Um, and he's got the ball skills to play on their perimeter, but the size and strength to play inside as well. So, you know, we, we view him as kind of the modern NBA, you know, being able to play both inside and outside and defensive versatility. Uh, just quick, too, about the, the second round picture, Reef, the local kid, just kind of what did you see in him? And another didn't get to see a lot of them. Yeah, um, so we had him ranked much higher, uh, obviously, than 48. So, you know, we got pretty excited when we saw him um, there late. Um, just a really, really good playmaker, you know, good with the ball in his hands. Um, very good passer, you know, pushes tempo, um, has the ability to get to the foul line. Uh, he did come in and work out for us. Um, and he shot the ball much better he, than he did this past year. So, you know, we feel like the jump shot will be there. So, you know, we're excited to add him to our, to our program as well. You mentioned the issues that Jalen had uh, in high school and in college. What makes you sold that, you know, he's going to be able to f figure that out? Yeah, I mean, listen, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if people <laughs> didn't give me a chance after I made a mistake in high school or college, um, you know, that that happens. Um, but like I said, when the group met with him, um, you know, he, did, he didn't run from those. You know, he took accountability for those. And, you know, that's what you're looking for. I mean, we all make mistakes, right? We're human. Um, but again, he... He didn't make excuses for him. You know, he took ownership of them, and then that's all you can do when you make a mistake. You only get three questions. This is your last one. <laughs> did you expect him to be available at 20? Like, where where did you have him ranked? No. Um, so the way we kind of broke it down, we had um, – it started with 11, but then we got the 15 guys that we were pretty sure weren't going to get to us, and, you know, they didn't. Um, and he was in the bucket of guys that could get to us. Um, you know, we had, had him ranked higher, but, you know, we felt we felt like there was a chance. Um, so we, wasn't, we weren't shocked when he was there, um, but we were certainly uh, happy when he was there. As you were looking in that bucket, um, did you, were you at all influenced? I know you were looking for the best – talent you could find, but were you all influenced by the uh, Congo and, and knowing that he's not going to be ready uh, for the start of the season? Um, no, um, not, not in this process. You know, you know, Jalen's Jalen's not a center, you know, he's got the ability to play inside, but, but he's certainly not a center. Did you um, explore the possibility of trading up in the draft prior to the pick? Yeah, we had several conversations with teams about trading up, um, you know, inside the top 10 and just outside the top 10. Um, you know, none, none of those worked out for us, um, but we did explore possibilities. We explored some possibilities about sliding back. Um, I think this might be the first year we didn't, we didn't move anywhere. <laughs> so kind of boring. Okay, let's uh, go to our friends on Zoom. If, uh, if you have a question on Zoom, please go ahead and use the raise hand function and uh, and we'll cue you up.
Am I going to hear them or are you going to read it? You'll hear them. Okay. Hopefully. Technology. Okay. If you have a question on Zoom, either wave your hand at me or use the hand raise function. Okay, uh, Michael Cunningham with the Atlanta Journal Constitution. Hey, Travis. Um, Jalen had the foot problem at Duke. Uh, what, what were your medicals like on him? You're going to have to try again. Can you hear me now? Oh, yep, I got you. Okay, Jalen had the foot issue at, at Duke. What were your medicals on him? Yeah, so uh, we got a physical today from his agency. Um, and, you know, to talk to some of the teams he did work out that actually got to see him. Um, and we feel, feel, feel good, you know, we'll get him here tomorrow and, you know, we'll get our own MRIs and all that stuff and certainly make sure that he's healing properly. But, um, everything that we have now says that, uh, everything's moving in the right direction. Next, we go to Edwin Powell. Hey, Mr. Schlink, um, second rounders sometimes spend some time in the G league. Do you see that in uh, Cooper's future at all is spending any time in the G league? Yeah, I think, you know, as we've kind of shifted from more of a development team to more of a, um, well, I'll say contending team, but a competitive team, I think that it is fair to say that it, all of our young guys may have an opportunity to go down there and get minutes, you know, it's, we've we've kind of had a shift where you know the past few years we draft somebody and you know we would put them on the floor so they get that experience well now because of the depth of our roster i think it's very fair to say that you'll see the guys we draft moving forward in order to give them the development and playing time they need that that's going to take place with the college park from time to time okay any additional uh, questions for travis from the uh the folks on zoom Good, it's past my bedtime. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> That's a wrap. That's a wrap. In Thanks person. for coming. See you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>